Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 9 of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, we'll explain about how to insert records into a table PHP my admin my SQL database. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video tutorial, I have showed how to create a table dynamically in Python. If you missed my previous video, you'll get that video link. Now let's continue to insert records into this table, student table from Python. So when we are dealing with databases, any databases, we need to install the particular requirement database packages. Here I'm using my SQL, which is PHP my admin database. So first let's install the MySQL client pack pip install MySQL client. Let's run this code. And the package is installed successfully. And here we got a small message with a note the requirement already satisfied. And note you may need to restart the kernel to use update packages. So let's restart the kernel, restart, so after I restart the kernel, the next step, import mysql db, and notice here y is small and db is small, make sure the case sensitive here, the variable db is equals to, to connect my database connection strings, my SQL DB dot connect method and this connect method takes four parameters. The first one is uh, my host, which is the local host, comma, and the second parameter is uh, my PHP my admin username, which is a root, and the third one is a password. I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database. If you have any, please enter that one. After that, the last one is our database name. Our database name is uh, new DB database. So let's add that one. Uh, new DB database. So once we got the connection string, next. I'm adding the cursor method. So insert record is equals to db dot cursor method SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is the insert statement insert into the table name is the student table. Let's copy the student table here and pasting here. The student table, the column names are the first column name is student ID, which is the auto generated column. So I am not adding that one. And the second one is the student name, comma, and the last column name is a student email. After that, values between single quotes the student name is Charan and the email id is charan at gmail.com then insert record dot execute method in the execute method I'm adding the SQL query. Once the record is inserted successfully, I want to commit, which means I want to save the data. DB dot commit method, then print record save successfully, then DB dot close method. 
that's it let's execute this program so here we got a message record saved successful let's check the record charan and charan at gmail.com is inserted successfully or not in this student table I'm browsing this table browse so here we got the results charan and charan at gmail.com let's insert the second record instead of charan this time I'm adding jack and jack at gmail.com jack at yahoo mail.com let's make it yahoo.com now let's execute this program run we got a message record saved successfully we check the output I'm browsing the table again see the second record is also inserted successfully student ID is 2 student name is Jack and student email is jack at yahoo.com now the next method I will show you how to implement the input text box to insert values so switch back to the Jupyter notebook so let's declare some variables um, student name is equals to uh, input enter student name and the next variable is student email is equals to input enter email now here in the values name let's copy this one copy instead of student mail student name I am adding student email this variable that's it let's execute this program run and student name is and notice here we got a text box control enter student name here I'm under the student name is Peter. Click enter. Now I got the enter email ID is pet at gmail.com. Now when I click enter, see here I got a message record saved successfully. Let's check. Browse. So here we got the Peter record. Peter pet at gmail.com let's insert the second one run student name is rani enter rani at gmail.com enter so record saved successfully let's browse the table again browse and here we got the rani details that's it